All right, guys. So I'm just waiting for Tom to get here. Uh, I invited him over, and I just got a text from him, and he said he's going to be here pretty soon. Um, so I should get a knock at the door here in just a second. And then uh, we're finally going to see what uh, Tom thinks of his build that I just made for him. And uh, hopefully we'll get to see him game with it and see if he enjoys it. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so everything's done. I know this is a dark shot, but I want this to be a little more dramatic, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and press the power button and see if she turns on. We got lights, we got RGB, we got everything, and it looks like she is powering on. We are good. So it looks like Windows is good to go. We're just gonna go ahead and install a couple of files on here, run a couple benchmarks, and test a game or two that Tom wants to play. Uh, and then we're gonna see how this thing does. Okay guys, so Tom's PC is actually looking really good. Uh, I got everything set, got a bunch of things installed here, got drivers done, and uh, as you can see, we got hardware monitor up right here and CPU Z, um, just to show you kind of what's going on right now. So with uh, the actual Ryzen 5 1600X, we're gonna just be running it probably at, it looks like it's at 3.7 uh, gigahertz. Um, I know I can run it higher than that, but uh, with this system in particular, because Tom isn't really uh, big into overclocking, he doesn't know very much about it, uh, I want it to be stable for him all the time uh, and not have a bunch of problems when he tries the game. I just want him to be able to game and uh, not have to deal with a bunch of crashes and fixing stuff. Um, if he wants to get into overclocking, obviously he can with this uh, really, really monster ever board and stuff like that. But I'm gonna leave that up to him. This is just kinda, I'm just gonna leave it kind of at that stock clock, cause it's uh, it's at 3.7 uh, gigahertz right now and it turbos up to four, uh, 4.1 gigahertz. So uh, it's gonna be plenty for him when he games and everything like that. And you'll see in the benchmarks that it actually does really well. Uh, and then as far as the uh, the RAM too, I actually had a little bit of a problem with the, the memory uh, running at its rated speed of uh, 3200 megahertz. It actually has a quite a bit of uh, instability when you run the XMP profile or without the XMP profile and try to uh, actually run at the rated speed of 3200 megahertz. So I had to clock it at 3000 megahertz and that works just fine. Um, I actually was able to jump into games and be able to play without any crashing whatsoever. Uh, so I left it there, it's at 300 or 3000 megahertz. Uh, if you guys don't actually know, when a pair of RAM sticks or just a single RAM stick actually says that it's rated at 3000 megahertz or 3200 megahertz, that's actually an overclocked number. Uh, usually it's stock, it's like 2400 megahertz or something like that and you have to en enable the XMP profile within your BIOS in order to actually get that to work. 
Um, so with this, I actually did that, but uh, it worked a little bit. Um, I could do some benchmarking with it, but when I was actually trying to game, it was unstable and that was what was causing crashing. So I decided to just go ahead and leave it at 3000 megahertz and it actually did give us some performance gain when we did some benchmarks and I will show you that really quick. So as you guys can see here, uh, with Fire Strike, we were actually able to achieve a score of 15,000 exactly. Uh, our first run actually produced a 14,942, but then we ran it again after I tweaked a couple of things um, and it's at 15,000 exactly. I'm not really sure why because the uh, memory speed is exactly the same on either one and the overclock is actually the same as well on either run. They're both running at the stock uh, speed. so. Maybe it just had a little bit of a burn in and uh, now it's running at its uh, rated speeds uh, well. But the cool thing I wanted to show you guys is that this Ryzen 5 6900X with the GTX 1070 that I that I own, uh, it actually beat my, where is it at? Uh, it's down here somewhere. My Ryzen 7 1700 with my GTX 1070 in both of those runs. So you can see right here running that, I believe that was probably at its stock speed as well and stock graphics card. I only got a 14734, so this one actually beat my Ryzen 7 1700, so Tom's going to be really, really happy about that when I show him that. All right, and if we take a look at Time Spy, it gets even more interesting uh, as our Ryzen 5 1600X and our GTX 1070 got a 5802 uh, score in there, and if you look down here at my Ryzen 7 1700 and GTX 1070, we actually got a 6159 score with that, so my Ryzen 7 actually beat it. And I'm going to go ahead and guess it's probably due to the CPU test, um, most likely because this has more cores. Okay guys, so <laughs> just as I expected, we are right where we should be here. We actually beat the cons comparison system here uh, just by just by about, uh, let's see, about 20 points. Uh, yeah, 23 points right there. So yeah, so we're right about where we should be. Um, Possibly maybe just because we're running a little higher clocked RAM or something like that in that comparison system But yeah, we're beating an Intel Core i7 7700k uh, and We're beating the comparison system that we should so it's good to see that we're right where we should be um, According to Cinebench, so that's good now on to gaming uh, One of the games that Tom told me that he actually likes to play is this game called Splitgate Arena Warfare I personally have never played it before uh, but he told me that this is one of the games that he's going to be playing. It's one of those free games um, and it actually looks pretty fun. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get into this game right here and then we're going to do a little bit of a test and see what we can do. All right, so we're in the game here and uh, one thing I do want to note is I noticed that when I tried this game before, uh, it does, if you don't have V-Sync on when I'm using this panel, uh, this is not a 144 hertz panel. Um, if you don't have VSync on, it may cause the game to crash. Uh, I've played countless uh, games now with the action with VSync on, and it causes no problems. So we're gonna actually just uncheck it real quick. I just want to show you guys the actual frame rates that I can get without VSync on. Um, so let's go ahead and play a game here. Let's just do casual. Okay, guys. So here we are in the game. Uh, before this crashes, if it does. Uh, without VSync on, I want you guys just to take a look at this uh, at this frame rate right here. I'm sure it can go even higher, uh, but I have my frame rate limit on 144 hertz, which is you know basically if Tom gets a new uh, a new panel, that's probably what it'll be, and it's it's locked right at oh got hit shot right in the face. Never said I was good at this game by the way, <laughs> but yeah, it's locked right at 144, 145. It'll dip down maybe to 142, but uh, as far as that goes, man, this game runs flawlessly, so I don't think Tom's going to have any problems running the games he wants to run on this PC. Uh, we need to find a little more demanding of a title to actually test it so you guys can see what this combination really does. So hold on, let me go ahead and uh, let me find somebody to kill really quick. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> There's a bad guy. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. There you go. Count that one for the highlight reel. Okay, let's go ahead and quit playing this game. And uh, oh, there's another one. Okay, never mind. We're gonna keep that. We're gonna keep that clip in the video. Sweet. Okay, so there you go. Now I look like I was actually good at this game, but I'm really not. Okay, so here we are in PUBG. So let's go ahead and just tweak the settings a little bit because I know Tom, if he does play this game, he's going to be playing it probably at 1080p. 
Let's just go ahead and drop it down to 1080p because that's what he's going to play at, I guarantee it. Okay, so just joining in the game, you can see I'm already getting really high frame rates. Um, obviously, we're in the plane right now, so it's going to fluctuate quite a bit, and it's going to be uh, really weird because this is Miramar. Uh, probably not the best map to test, but uh, it is a big map, so it'll definitely tax the frame rate quite a bit. So right here, I'm looking at about 100. Yeah, it's fluctuating a little bit, yep. But not bad, not bad 1080p uh, performance here. We're doing pretty well. Um, obviously, I would prefer to play this game on a, uh, you know, on a high refresh rate panel, but um, you know, beggars can't be choosers right now. So it looks like consistency, guys, or consistently, sorry. I'm getting anywhere from like 70 to like 90 frames a second. Uh, it de definitely does go over that quite a bit uh, in certain areas, but uh, yeah, my consistent frame rate is anywhere from 70 to 90, um, which is which is good for this system. Uh, 1080p. Not bad. Um, you could actually, I know for a fact you could play this on at 1440p as well. Uh, it would drive it and you'd get over 60 frames a second. So um, you're not going to be hitting 144 frames with this graphics card. You're going to need a, uh, you know, a uh, much beefier graphics card to hit 144 frames in uh, this game. But like I said, that's why I wanted to test this game because this taxes the GPU and the CPU quite a bit more because it's a wide open world game. Are you, at, are you at number 22? There's no number on it. It should be unit 22. <laughs> there are, there, there's numbers, I promise. All right, hold on. Can you see what I see? Man, that's confusing. There you are, you <laughs> dummy. <laughs> All right, dude, come here. There's Maverick, everybody check out Maverick. <laughs> I met you when you were smaller. All right, everybody, this is Tom. Say hi, Tom. What's up? <laughs> there she is. Damn. That one on the right. Oh, you press this right. Just gonna everything with me. Dude, just take the whole setup, man. It's all you. <laughs> oh, look, it's even got That's you. Maverick, come here. Come on, come here. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. All right, man. This is all you. Type it in. There you go. What do you think? Are you stoked? I'm so stoked. That looks so pretty. Hold on. Brighten this crap up. Yeah. Not too much RGB on it, but it does have see those little like lines and whatnot. Those are pretty sick, right? Yeah. So the case is pretty cool. Can you even hear that sound I was talking about? Yeah. Okay. See, then you. I figured you wouldn't even notice it. I'm just really picky, so I noticed it. But see, don't, just don't even worry about it then, you'll never notice it. So Tom, do you, do you like your new piece? Does, does, does it look pretty sick? It looks pretty sick. <laughs> Are you stoked? So stoked. Yeah. <laughs> you look good. That's, that's what they tell me. <laughs> you look good with that computer, bro. Oh, oh you mean with the computer? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. What do you think, man? You like your new computer? Oh, dude, I'm already hooked. <laughs> already hooked. <laughs> Sweet. I'm never going back. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, one thing we have to do: just sign off the video. Tell people to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe, <laughs> and make sure to leave me comments down below. We'll see you guys later. We're gonna play a bunch of video games. Bye. Adios. Say bye, Tom. Adios, amigos.